Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, the Booking Mag. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Actor Success Stories. Today, I'm so honored. I'm so pumped. I'm like giving you like, I actually am. And I just woke up, y'all. I didn't even put hair on for y'all. <laughs> Nor did my hair. But I'm pumped because Lenny Thomas is with me. Hey, Lenny. Hey, what's up? How you and doing? If I'm wonderful and thank you for taking the time. Lenny is, I have so much client love for Lenny and um, because Lenny is not just someone who sits on the sidelines, he takes action. And even when he's not taking action, when he finally does, he calls him out. He calls himself out on his own bull. And I'm, we'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> um, got it. Yes. So welcome, 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 Lenny, for real. And, and hey, heads up for all of you watching. If his, he's in, Philadelphia? He's in, you said Philadelphia? Pittsburgh. 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 He's in Pittsburgh yeah. shooting a project. So, and his internet is not the best right now. So if it, if it freezes, still listen to this because the audio is still very clear. But we're just going to give you a heads yeah. up. You know, it's how it is sometimes. You're on location. It's like fake problems, right? Right? So it's okay. Yep. Um, <laughs> so what's up, Lenny? First, seriously, thank you for joining me. Thank you for taking the time out. I know you're busy. Um, so introduce yourself to the people, uh, who you are, what you do, where you're based. Oh, I am Lenny Thomas. I'm based in New York City, New York. I am an actor extraordinaire. No, well, yeah, mostly, I would say. Yeah, yeah, you are. You gotta own it, right? You gotta, <laughs> you gotta own it if you want it. Specifically, the past uh, three years when I started working in TV and seeing how difficult this game can be, um, you, you, I don't know, you have to have a certain... I thought tenacity was the word, but there has to be another word that can that can up that word by tenfold <laughs> in order to you know sustain the, the the stamina you need to be successful in this business. Um, it's funny talking about myself is always so hard because I'm like, what do I do? Who am I? What's yeah, going I'm like, on? Don't, aren't you a dance? Don't you dance? Like, did you start in the theater? Like, what's come on, come on, come on, Lynn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. I started in the theater. I'm a, a neighborhood playhouse alumnus, which is where the Meisner technique was was born and bred. Um, theater is my first love, but TV film is where the moving is. Like, I'm, it's 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 a delicate balance. I feel like theater is a home cooked meal, whereas TV and film can be more like fast food. So you need a constant counterbalance of all of those uh, those three mediums, and. Um, I like to dance, but I'm not a dancer. <laughs> That's my girlfriend. She's the she's the one with the high, with the, the highlight. Uh, yeah. I just I do it for fun. You know, I'm a good mover. <laughs> That's like me. I, I told somebody recently. They're like, "Didn't you dance? Are you in Lion King? Didn't you dance?" I said, "I, I started my life <laughs> at five or six years old. I was in tap class and I took jazz, ballet. You know, the usual story." Yeah. And I was like, "When you go, and I'm from New York, but when I left and came back for college." I was like, New York will tell you quick, fast, in a hurry that you're not a dancer. You will learn quick, look into that backstage. I'm an actor who moves well. I'm a singer who boom, moves boom, well. Boom. <laughs> you learn where you fit in. You go, exactly, to one, exactly. you go to one good audition, honey, and they've got legs up here, like like your beautiful sweetheart. Legs up here. You know, no. Just like they're raising their hands <laughs> to ask a question. What? <laughs> Lenny, what, what recently, I'm, first of all, I, I'm, thank you for letting me take the time and I'm loving this series. So I'm, you know, I wanted to find a way, like, I was like, I got to start collecting some testimonials. So some of my clients are doing so many major things. And I was talking to my coach and we brainstormed, like, what would be a good way to highlight my clients? And I was like, oh, I could show them love on video. And I was like, I have really enjoyed this process. I have to be honest with you because I'm getting to learn your story, how, to hear where you felt like you were struggling, how we connected and all that. But then like all y'all don't, I don't know if y'all realize for real, if you're watching at home, you're one of my clients. I like stalk y'all. Like I'm on your Instagram, on your Facebook. I'm like, oh, go get it. That's good. That's good. You're doing it. You know, especially the marketing piece. And I want to just give you public love for the strides you've made, you've made for stepping out of your comfort zone and really, you know, putting yourself out there for the world to see you were just recently on 
the show The Enemy Within, which I actually really love with Morris yeah. Chestnut. And you had a nice, juicy guest star in there. So if you missed him, what yeah. do you remember the episode title or the n- number, what episode number that was? Chigorin. Chigorin was the name of the episode. It's episode number 10. I'm episode assuming. 10. So if you have Hulu or On Demand, look at the, the Enemy Within. You will recognize his face. So and <laughs> that was a good, I really enjoyed that show. And I, my students know I've studied that show. I study it for pace oh, yeah. and for tone because that's one of those shows that a lot of people can, um, these types of shows with FBI agents, cops, that kind of thing are such a great show to study for how they're dressed, the tone in which they speak, like all of that. And we can talk a little about that in a second. I'm curious to know, before we connected, um, and maybe you can tell me how we connected. You know, what did you feel like you were struggling with before and how did we, I mean, I know we, we know Sharon, you know, we'll, we're, I'll be interviewing your lovely sweetheart soon, but how did we get connected and how, what were you struggling with before? Uh, before, it just felt like I didn't have a, a guideline or, or outline as, you know, what areas to reassess, um, you know, my status. Like, all right, I, I wanted to do more and more TV shows, but I wasn't sure exactly how to go about it. I wasn't sure how to keep that it was okay to reach out to the industry that has brought me in or has yet to bring me in just to stay front of mind. You know, um, I used to take these pay to play classes. Uh, There's this um, program or, or company called one on one where it's called talent meets the meets the uh, industry. And, you know, it's a cool way to, to at least get in front of a say casting director or agent's face, but at the same time, like you're, you're paying to play. So, it's, it's a crapshoot in, in a sense. Um, but what I did, what I started doing was using that as a introduction to this uh, cast director or agent. And then I would start a dialogue from there. Like how, ask questions like, you know, how do you like to be contacted? How do I stay in touch with you? How do I keep you abreast of what's going on in my life and my career? And then it just, it, like everything, I used to be terrified to do that. I'm like, who am I to, to you know, what do they want, you know, what would they, what would they care if I said, I, you know, got called back or had a producer session or whatever, you know, but no, Christine did this really beautiful thing where she's like, no, you are, you are worth it. You are worthy. You need to look at yourself from a, from a uh, standpoint of abundance. And that, that right there was the, the, uh, the click because, um, I mean, it's so easy to live in a mindset of black, especially in New York City is the undercurrent can be very negative. And if you're not careful, I can't have that kind of life. I don't know about anyone else, but I'd rather spend my time um, fortifying the things that I'm good at and getting better at the blind side. Because uh, yeah, this industry is, it doesn't stop. You, you can't let up. You have to be, <laughs> you're constantly going. And uh, the moment you want to take a break is probably the moment you have to turn it up a notch, to right. be quite honest. Yeah. Right, so, so. Um, dealing with some worthiness issues and then yeah. how to up level and how to just get more access to the things that you want to do. And yeah. I, the I, first I, video I saw of yours, I'm sorry, no, no, no. Uh, was the Asian attraction from, uh, I forgot when it was, maybe, maybe 2018, 20, 2017. Okay. Um, but just your methods in getting in contact with an agent there, there was, I mean, at least 90% of it, I'd never even thought about or heard of. And I, from that point, I was like, all right, you know what? I don't have all the answers, and that's okay. Clearly, uh, it's good to get help. It's good to know when you need help. And it's good to have someone like you who actually cares. You know what I mean? I, that there, are, there are some teachers and coaches in the city that are cool, but there was something missing. Like, it's like, okay, this is business for you. You don't really care. And this is my life we're talking about here. So if I'm not, if I'm going to be dealing with somebody, they got to care. Sorry. <laughs> not sorry. Or make me feel like you care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least, you know what I mean? At least you know? I like care. Come on. <laughs> it's, it's, it's honestly hard for me to not to get invested. A client of mine texted me last night. On, she was on the East Coast. It was 9 o'clock my time in L.A. So I was like, you up late. Yeah. And she was texting me and just, she was like, you calling me out. <laughs> I did a video. Yeah. I didn't say her name in the video. I called her out though. And I was like, I call you out because I care. Yeah. If I didn't care, I wouldn't. That's real love. Seriously, 
I'm calling you out because you know, it's better on the other side of the bull that you're telling yourself. Yeah. And I, I remember, realize you're, no, you're, no, when you're in it, it's hard. And I remember yeah. one, of my, one of my early dance teachers, I, when I was like maybe nine or 10, I'm like, why are you picking on me? He's always picking on me. It's because he cared. He was invested. Mm. So I'm happy. Yeah. To, I'm, thank you for sharing that story. You know, you know, I had the pleasure of, of coaching you a few times one-on-one -on -one back when I used to offer that. I don't offer that now except to my inner circle clients. Um, but you have a great energy and a great, uh, 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 what's the word, uh, command of the screen. And then, but you took it up a notch and finally, and you joined my Booking Magnet Academy, which is my monthly membership. And in that, in my, for those of you who are not in the academy, I, I really stress my four, my four step methodology, which is getting to know your mama, mindset, acting, marketing, and auditioning. And you made a post one day on Facebook, like, I'm, I'm going to paraphrase. It was something like, it was about love notes. So I'm always talking about marketing and I, it's what we use love notes. And you were, you really admitted to like, I've been like procrastinating, basically. I've been waiting oh, yeah. for resistance, like. Talk a little bit about that because even when you're introducing yourself, it's like it's hard to talk about myself and that's something we can get better at. But when you yes. once joined the academy and you started learning more about marketing and then audition techniques and on-camera techniques, what's that process like for, because a lot of times, a lot of actors, we see them on the other side. We, we see them on the red carpet or finally a series regular, but we don't know about that. Yeah. In can you speak to that? Yeah. So with, specifically with the marketing side, uh, Whenever I'm putting myself out there like that, I, I want to be, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. Like, I, it has to be this un, you know, realistic version of perfection or just, just it has to be perfection, which is ridiculous. There's not, nothing is perfect. Nothing. Accepting that was probably the, the strongest thing I, choice I made in recent um, months. But it was like, I would, I would, <laughs> I would go into Canva and I would, I would, uh, what you call it? go through each picture that I felt represented the look I wanted to give or energy I wanted to give best right. and then uh, attach it to a project that I recently did or was about to do or a thank you or, you know, and it was, and I would print them out and I would just look at them. I'm like, but, but this, this something's missing. There's something, something's wrong. What's going on? I mean, just, I wouldn't let it go. And then finally I was like, you know what? This is coming out. I can't sit on this anymore. Just stand it out. Get one, do it once. It doesn't matter what's happening. Just get that one in, and then it'll probably get easier. And it, that's exactly what ended up happening. Um, I might have missed one month because of uh, projects and, and survival jobs. But yeah. I, I don't even, when, once you said, I just don't care about it. Set it, forget it. That's it. Keep it moving. You're, you're doing your part. And it actually, it's, it's uh, empowering, to be, to be quite honest. Um, but yeah, the marketing side, it's, it's, that, it's that mindset of, uh, of lack and, and abundance. Like, if you're coming from a lack mindset, you're going to make every excuse not, you know, to do the thing you know you need to do. And it could be something as, you know, small as updating your actor's access uh, profile to come across as a professional. You know what I mean? It, and the permission that you gave to, to, as you know, giving outlines, it's like your outline of your actor's access profile was like another aha wait oh i can do that oh i can say that and then, and then it's just it's like a it's like a snowball effect okay. wait a second who are making these rules that i'm following yeah you make no one is making these rules <laughs> yeah so wh what am i waiting for <laughs> what well, i'm you, curious I, I'm I found curious it. because this may really help an actor watching yeah when you were dealing in your sitting in your perfectionism, what in your mind? Because you made up a scenario. What did you imagine somebody saying for the things you didn't send out? What 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 story did you make up that they're gonna get your mail from Lenny? Like, what is this? Like, what what yeah. did you imagine that they were saying? I'm very curious. Like there was the the because it's the one that the, honest, <laughs> the one that struck me the most. The real one. But they pick it up and they'll notice, oh, the, the spacing on this word is this is right. Or it doesn't, yeah, it's just the most asinine thing. Like, oh, the color, it's a little dull. He didn't really, he didn't really, he didn't really, he didn't really do his best with that. I don't, I don't, I don't believe you. What? What? 
get out of here. What, is, what are we doing this for then? I love <laughs> oh, that. You, you got a typo here. Come on. <laughs> Let, what's, his, what's his name? Put it in the book. <laughs> We're not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, wait. Any time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Put a block on his address. <laughs> do they even do that? Come on. <laughs> the, the most illogical fear. Most I, I thank you for that transparency. And we're I'm <laughs> laughing because we've all felt that. If you're watching at home, you're probably nodding your head. Please leave a comment <laughs> on this video and be like, that's me. Give me a that's me. <laughs> and I want all of you to start embracing good enough. And this is something I tell my clients often. We have to release the attachment to something coming back to us. Right. Mm, so yeah. the reality is when you send out love notes, what I call love notes, it's marketing and things like that. The reality is it may not get looked at. An assistant mm -hmm. may open it and throw it in the trash or it may land on the desk of the person you're targeting. We don't know. It's about your intention behind it. Once you send yeah. it out, that's why I call it love notes. We send love through the mail. We send love through Twitter and Instagram, however we're reaching out to people. And then we release the attachment to it. I've done yeah. my part. And you, with the way the universe works and what I'm big about attracting, I'm a magnet, right? As are you. Lenny, as are you, whoever you wa who's watching this at home, we are magnets. So the intention was most important, not your typo or the space or the font that you choose, right? It's not that. Yeah. Thank you. So thank you for sharing that. You know, um, so you're working in film, you're working in TV, you have so many things going on. Um, what where what's going on now what you know if you needed support now what's what do you feel like is a and this is just me doing a survey on you at this point live where do you, feel like you you still need support i would say there are passion projects that i have in the mix uh specifically a short film that I would like to develop into a feature film. And uh, I've been writing it, but I haven't carved out enough time on the regular to like, really make this a thing. Like it has to become, you know, a, possibly a daily thing or, uh, you know, a couple times a week thing. So instead of waiting for the phone to ring, I need to make my own opportunities. You know what I mean? It's it's cool. I have a beautiful network of friends. In fact, the project I'm on right now is the network I created over the years, this theater company that I recently did a play for. And it's like every other month there's something with them, which is awesome, right? Like I'm not I'm not taking anything away from that, but there's something in me that's hungry for more. And I know it is stepping into the producer side, stepping into the director side, stepping into the writer side, because I don't want to just be an actor. There's way too many beautiful parts of this this business. And there's something speaking to me. So how do I, how do I reciprocate? How do I just respond to that? And I feel like creation is that way. So yeah, I got I to gotta put another fire up on my mind. <laughs> yeah, you need to create, you have to create your own magic, period, point blank. Yeah. So let me yeah. ask you, I know I'm, this was not a scheduled question. <laughs> Doing some That's cool. <laughs> I like random. Um, <clears throat> why does it have to be a feature first? Has the short film already been done? Oh no, no! I'm, I would, I would love short first. It doesn't have to no. be a feature. In fact, feature freaks me out. The thought right. of it. <laughs> no, and that's, and that's for a lot of us. So, yeah. The way to, and I'm, I can, I'm speaking totally truthfully. Like, you know, my book, which will be out August first. Oh my gosh! I can't wait. I made a decision. I had a coach that would say, "Make a decision, and then make that decision mm -hmm. right," which basically means carving out time so you know what your day looks like now of course like any creative you're it, it can be unpredictable you know you got to go to work yeah. right? you got to do these things but there is a, a time before all that starts for me look i'm not a morning person but for me mm. i knew nothing was going to come come happen between 6 30 and 7 30 unless i book something that has a really early call but for the most part even if it's an audition it's not going to be that that early I can yeah. work out after that. I can walk the dog after that. So I made an intention and I put it on my calendar and I really value that time on my calendar to only have that. So no clients, no husband, no dog, no nothing, no mm. phone calls, no Facebook. That was my time. And not even, this isn't time for meditation or prayer. This was intentional time 
for this book to get done because it was a wow. vision I had and I knew my day once not 10 o'clock start my day is not mine anymore yeah so for you Lenny and for you at home if there's something you really want it might mean okay let go to bed earlier so that you can wake up later wake up earlier mm -hmm. for that and just make the intention if it's, a, it's like a power hour I'm just gonna even mm -hmm. if it's bad even if it's bad don't matter just get it, working the muscle of writing working in, yeah. in this intentional time for this project and it doesn't have to be every day for me I made it every day because the way my yeah. brain works if I don't put it, it I can't be like and it might for you might just be every Saturday morning or every Sunday morning but for me I have to I the way my brain works I have to make it a muscle that just I'm all or none I'm kind of all in or not in that's the way I am yeah. you may be different but I think setting intentional time and not putting too, because you have perfectionist tendencies, I'm mm. making it a point to just be like, this is an appointment I have. Same as if it were an audition appointment or going to the gym or anything. It's not yeah. negotiable because that's your dream. That's something that you can create and it can open doors for you. And the beauty of creating a short, and my inner circle clients know this, I know I'm a broken record to them, is even if it's a five minute short, <laughs> like it don't have to be as long as you're making it. It can be less than 10 minutes. And now you get to now document the, Gary Vaynerchuk, who's a, a big uh, influencer who I follow, talks a lot about documenting versus creating. And so mm. creation is important, but now you get to, you have all this content. You'd be like, you could go on Instagram tomorrow. I'd be like, y'all, I'm starting the process of writing my short film. I'm like, oh, I'm so excited. I'm waking up. Y'all keep me accountable. I'm waking up every day at seven o'clock, seven to eight. That's my time. That's a, that's a snippet for Facebook. That's a snippet for Twitter and Instagram. It's day 28. I'm still working on it. So <laughs> good. You know, and it's now you're building momentum. People are following your journey. Everybody wants to be a part of something. And next thing you know, okay, I'm in production mode. I got reached out to five friends. We're going to have a meeting today. Group, take a group photo. We're having a meeting. Like, all this is content. You're documenting. You, you don't, and take the who's going to care. People care. It's the same reason why people watch YouTube videos about random crap for 30 minutes. And, like, I, don't, I, I went looking for one thing, and I'm watching a hair video. A, a girl unboxing. I got these new peanuts, and I just want to give my opinion about these peanuts. Like, people care. You know I'm right. And yeah. then once you get in pre-production mode, it might be end of the year because then you have to figure out how much do I need? I produced my first short film, Lenny, for $1,500 and I didn't put a cent in. Oh, wow. I shared the script with two people. Shout out to Shamika. Shout out to Omari. Two Lion King alum, by the way. And they mm -hmm. brought the script is great. I want to invest in that. I'm at forever grateful wow. for that. I mean, I just, so you never know who might love your story. The money may only have to come from you. It can, but it don't have to. You have, you're so tapped into resources, Lenny, that you don't even, you know you have, but you haven't really tapped into them. And it sounds mm -hmm. like you created a crew of people who want to create and work, are willing to do stuff. People will do stuff for free, just for credit in a, in a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Think, so when, and this is for you, Lenny, and this is for you at home. See yourself on the other side of it. And it's not about will I win awards or what festivals am I getting? It is, it is, an, it is a practice of worthiness and self-advocacy and creating your own way. And your team who represents you will see that. Wow, he's a go-getter. He's really doing it. And it just gives you months of content for your social yeah. media and for love notes and for marketing. So because you have the, the documenting the process before. You just making it into, I, I did it with my book. And I also did it, Lenny. It sounds like it's a me, 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 but what it is, Lenny, is accountability. It's public accountability. Mm. So if you tell the world, this is what I do with my clients, y'all don't know this. I'd be like, I have a new course coming out April, you know, April 10th. <laughs> course don't exist. I'd be like, oh shoot, I better pick the course. <laughs> That's what I do, it's a little secret. I give public, I make myself accountable to the public. And then it fuels me. Yeah, wow. It fuels me. And so just know you're doing all the right things for your career. You're, you know, you're, you're taking classes, you're, you're doing indie projects, you're doing theater, you, you know, you're on TV, you're doing that. So that path has been laid. So now it's mm -hmm. about what is next for me. And you get to create that yes for you. 
I love that word. Yeah. So just sit in it and allow yourself to visualize what's on the other side of it and what role you really want to play and what, you know, because I think as actors, and I'm myself included, because I'm working on a project before the year is over, and it's like, what role do I want to do next? What would be the dream role? I, I don't know. Yeah. I've played so many things. But I'm like, no, there's something deeper there. There's some, and I don't know what that is yet either. And I'm, that's, that's honest. So I have to sit in that. But I know every example we've seen with people who have made their own way, it's when you hear their acceptance speeches, they did it for themselves at some point. Mm. And that's inspiring yeah. to me. I know we went off on a yeah. tangent. I'm excited to hear that that's, that's bubbling. And I'm speaking to the perfectionist in you. I don't know his name, your inner critic. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever, what's his name? Kenny. Kenny, listen. <laughs> like mine is Lenny. Right. This is Kenny. <laughs> Kenny, we getting this short film done, boo. Stop. It's so funny. I, I know the names of so many of my clients in a critics. It's so funny. I'll be like, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to her. I'm talking to him. So that I know Kenny. I'm talking to Kenny. But, okay, we're going to wrap. I know we went, we went over. I just, I wanted to speak that life into you. Um, for the actor at home, Lenny, who is... <laughs> knows they have talent they really feel like that's some this is something they want to do maybe they're working at one job two jobs maybe they got kids maybe they got a lot of responsibilities and they just and they need some encouragement because they just feel like man maybe this is saying cut out for me or i haven't had a mm. break yet but the man at home the act speak especially my man because i don't have a ton of male clients so i would love if you could speak to my male because a lot of my male clients a lot of y'all i'm talking to y'all they don't they don't comment on these videos they watch it every now and then they'll say i've watched all your videos i never commented or they've been helpful i got you know because y'all don't y'all y'all communicate in a different way and you internalize yeah. and you process differently so to the man man at home who's feeling like oh maybe it's too late in the game for me I'm too old maybe the same for me what what life could you speak into him what advice would you give there's no such thing as too old this is probably the, one of the only professions where you can do this for as long as you got breath in your lungs. So with that said, don't be afraid to fail and fail hard. Because it's going to happen. That's part of the game. Be, don't be afraid to be wrong. I'm wrong all the time. And it, it can suck sometimes. But what happens is what a lot of us guys don't understand is that like when, you, when you're working out, like you have to go through a set of grueling resistance in order to see some kind of gain, right? That's life, and that's acting too. When it, the things that hurt the most are usually the things that are going to make you stronger, make you better, make you more able. So if it's not happening for you right now, that's fine. Things are, if you just stay the course and eventuality comes, if you stay open, if you, if you keep yourself available, and if you, you look – to help other people out while they're on their way, it comes back to you. It always comes back around. Like, keep, don't have your hand out. If your hand is out, you should be handing somebody something. You should be giving something. What can you give? It opens you up to receive more. Just like putting yourself through a grueling process opens you up to be stronger. Um, there's space for all of us. There really is. The only competition you have is your yesterday. That's it. There's no one alive that's your competition. Everyone is on their own path, doing your fight, their own war. But you, my friend, literally, your yesterday is your only competition. If you keep that in mind, stay in some classes. Don't you never, don't you, don't you dare stop taking classes. Because honestly, that's the way, that's the reason why I've been working so much. Because I make amazing friends in class. And they just like, yeah, you'd be perfect for this. Next thing you know, I'm on a film set. Next thing you know, I have a reel. Next thing you know, I have people looking at me because I gave my light to someone. And it was as simple as just being there for them. You know what I mean? Just, just being available, being a human to human, making human to human contact with doing this very difficult thing called acting. You know what I mean? But yeah. How do you deal with you personally and with feelings of not being good enough? For the actor, for the actor at home, and I'm, I'm gonna just keep speaking to the heart of my my male audience today. Feeling like maybe I'm not cut out for this. Maybe I haven't booked in a while. Am I good enough? Like, how do you? What advice do you hmm. have for with that? Everything in its time. You don't want to take a cake out of the oven before it's ready, right? And I know that's that's a hard pill to swallow, but 
you got to take a step back eventually. If, you know, you haven't been booking, if, 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 you know, things aren't necessarily going your way, <clears throat> what are you honestly doing every single day to help you get to where you, you, you wanted to go? How you got to get brutally honest with yourself. You can't, you can't dance around the truth. The more you dance around the truth, the more you dance away from your dream. How much, how bad do you really want it? Because there was a there was a time where I was lying to myself, but I wasn't putting in the work to, you know, on the marketing side or on the, the self-development side or on the, the technique side. I wasn't in classes all the time. And lo and behold, that was also the time I wasn't working that much. So I'm like, uh, they kind of go hand in hand. You right. need to stay pounding on this craft. You cannot let up. And if you busy yourself with, being better you don't have time to think about you not being good enough you don't have time it's like it's it takes a kind of sickening tenacity to to want to be something in this business you have to get this you got to be out of your mind <laughs> and be okay with it yeah and be okay with it that's right we all are crazy we just a different shade it's all right. the same <laughs> more or less <laughs> you know this industry is not for the faint of heart and it's not i think sometimes it could be our other actor friends or people who see you working and shining and they don't see yeah. the hustle. They don't see the hustle. They don't see the late nights. They don't see the, sa there's a sacrifice with a capital S and I try to keep yes. it so 100 with everybody who comes in contact with me. Like, I'm like, you might see me on a red carpet, but I try my goal. And I hope I'm, I hope y'all are receiving it. I never try to sugarcoat anything. And what I love mm. about what Lenny is sharing is like, no, nah, it ain't going to be easy. You have to have a sickening tenacity because no, it ain't easy. And that's yeah. also why this, I'm doing this series to showcase real people who look like you, who sound like you, who have experiences like you. So, you know, it's possible for you too. It's possible, yeah. but I'm not guaranteeing that is the magic pill and it's going to come easy and that you're going to get discovered on Instagram. That's a lie. That's a lie. I don't know where it came from or why it's being reinforced or whatever. There's no pill. Listen, if there was a pill, I'd have it. All right? I'd be mass producing it. We'd be getting it popping right now. <laughs> oh, gosh. Lenny Thomas, I'm going to get, do me a favor. And um, if, if for those of you watching, his links are above or below. Just email me those links. All any of your social links, your IMDb, Actors Access, send all that to me, so that you can follow Lenny, follow his career. He has amazing things in the pipeline, and he should be on your radar. New York is lucky to have you for all you casting directors and directors. And I directors appreciate there. that. Yes, <laughs> Lenny. Um, um, thank you for spending time with me. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for speaking life into other people and for giving back, because that is my. That's my, my method, be a giver. Yes. And for those yes. of you at home, I wanna give you a, a, I always share this quote often from uh, David Nagel, he's a, a, a mindset coach. And he says, when you make an excuse, any excuse will do. So mm. for those of you at home who are making excuses and talking yourself out of your greatness, now is the time to consider stopping. You know, Lenny shared about perfectionism and all that, but that's really rooted in fear. So that is a huge thing. That is something to, you know, get help to move past that. But you can be your own success story. Give yourself your first yes. I'm excited now that we know that Lenny is working on his new short film. I'm going to hold him accountable. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, I said too much. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Lenny, thank you so much for spending this morning with me and for sharing your story. I really appreciate it. Have a, good time. Time. Have a good time filming. We'll talk soon. All right. Take care, love. Bye. All Thank right. you, everybody, for watching.